So since the pandemic started, one thing that I've definitely noticed and have had seen more of and been taking care of more is the number of anxiety and depression um, has really kind of grown through our patient population, not just in our pregnant and expecting and postpartum mothers, but women in general. Um, you know, all of us are creatures of habit. We like our stability. And with coronavirus, while we're focusing very much on the physical aspects of our health, I think we've somehow forgotten some of the mental aspects. And so I'm just seeing um, anxiety, depression, um, in a large volume right now. My name's Brittany Poehler, and I'm a certified physician assistant, and, and I practice in women's health or obstetrics and gynecology down in College Station, Texas. When I was in PA school, I was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis and got thrown into this intense infertility journey. And through all of the office appointments and visits and second opinions and ultrasounds and procedures and surgeries, you really start to see how you want to be treated and you see people do it well and you see people do it not so well. When I started, I didn't fully realize how much mental health I would do. Um, and, until I got out there and there's just such a lack of good resources and services that sometimes you end up being the only person or sometimes you're the only person they're comfortable talking to and so um, you end up kind of being a jack of all trades and trying to care for your people. It's really isolated our mothers and um, you know we're starting to not be able to have baby showers or these big gatherings and celebrations that you normally want to when you're expecting or adding to your family, whether it's the first one or it's your fourth or your fifth or sixth, you know, you want to celebrate and welcome those in. And we're telling you, you know, to take the social distancing guidelines seriously. We know that coronavirus can affect women, pregnant women, um, more aggressively, especially around delivery. And so we're really trying to help isolate these women keep them safe, really advocate for them to wear their masks, to avoid going out in public, especially large gatherings. And so these women are feeling like they're locked inside their homes for a big stint of their pregnancy, not getting some interactions that they would normally. And then on top of it, you then now have the postpartum period where you're isolated and you can't get out with that new baby. You can't maybe have family or friends come over like you could before to help you. And so it's extremely isolating and um, hard on these women. There's always been a stigma around mental health and especially women in postpartum health. I think there's such this misconception or this perception out there on social media that you're given this baby and you should have your hair done and be cooking dinner and you should be happy about it and it's everything you wanted. And people forget that depression, anxiety, postpartum depression, that those are often really complex chemical and hormonal processes that are out of our own control um, and I think there's such shame around that that women are shamed into talking to someone or getting help and I just really try to advocate that this is all about making you the best you and how to make you be the best mother how to make you your happiest you because you deserve that too typically even in my practice I saw women with anxiety and depression it's not like that has never existed and we didn't struggle with these day-to-day -day things but I think since coronavirus uh, the pandemic has come out and people have been quarantined and socially distancing we're just seeing a lot more of the anxiety and depression and it comes out in sometimes subtle ways so sometimes patients don't know that's necessarily what they're struggling with and they start off with issues with insomnia or not being able to sleep or racing thoughts and then being able to talk them through and kind of come back to when it all started and a lot of it's centered around self-quarantine there's lots of good ways to just be in tune, whether it's taking a few minutes um, a day, a week to think about yourself, listen, make sure you're getting appropriate sleep, rest, you're getting a good, well-balanced diet. I urge everybody wear your mask in general, like just not for yourself, but to protect others as well. Um, and I think like, you, like we kind of have said this whole time, just making sure you're still, it doesn't take a lot, but a few minutes to recharge, whatever it is, a good book, a good cup of coffee in the morning your people something that kind of brings you back center. I think it also helps most of us do this because it's a calling and, and definitely that's what we, has everybody jumping to the front lines and continuing to serve in many different roles and capacities. And so just knowing that um, it is for a bigger purpose, bigger than ourselves.